what's up everyone me and milo out here again about to tackle about 12 miles 2,000 feet elevation gain in about 24 hours we're all packed up and ready to go we're going to be crossing over small waterfalls rock hopping across creeks and spending a night along the water this time of year the snow is finally starting to melt so hopefully we'll be able to pick ourselves some wild berries and have an awesome night most importantly above all else we're going to eat some good food and have a great time so it's about time to get this trip started. Let's start putting down these miles and get moving. This trip is going to take us deep into the 2.9 million acre Tonto National Forest. This mountain range stretches from the dry deserts of Phoenix all the way to the lush green trails of the Mogollon Rim. Horton Creek is one of those natural wonders here in Arizona. If you follow the creek all the way to the end, you'll run into Horton Springs up in the Mogollon Rim. Flowing right out of the mountainside, that's where this natural spring begins. I really am beyond thankful to call this place my home. So we're actually doing this trail in reverse. We're doing Derrick Trail to Highline to Horton Creek. Usually people will go out and back on Horton Creek. We're actually connecting all three of the trails today. And uh, so this first leg of the hike is like about seven miles, eight miles. So I plan to bring two liters of water with me and Milo's already drank half of it because he wants to go and chase lizards. So, it is what it is. I'll survive a little while without water. I'd rather him have it than me have it. So, we're just putting down miles as fast as we can to get to the first uh, creek crossing, which I'm pretty sure we're about halfway there right now. So, we're making good time and uh, just taking in the sights. Here comes the elevation gain. Oh man, we're like two miles out from the creek. We have been out of water for like the past two or three miles. So we are excited to get there. This last little stretch, we are just going up and up and up. But it's all right, we're strong and we're fit and we're ready to drink some damn water. thirsty don't wait for me go 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 drink 
You waiting for me? Go. Drink some water. Yes. Go drink. Come on. Go drink. Go. Yes. Be easy. Don't kill yourself. There you go. Good boy. Feel a little better now? <laughs> This is the perfect time of year in Arizona to go backpacking, with the nights being somewhere in the 40s and the days being in the 70s. All the plants are starting to bloom and there's plenty of water sources just about everywhere you turn, especially here in northern Arizona. The snow is mostly gone and the ground is soft, which makes it ideal for backpacking. We're going to put about two more miles down before we find ourselves a nice camp spot, hopefully somewhere along the water. This looks like camp to me. Time to go set up shop. Check it out, we got running water right next to our campsite here. A little kind of waterfall thing over here in the background. So it's a sweet spot. Oh, all right, well, camp's all made and it's time for dinner. So I've got some tortillas, some chicken and broccoli, and some organic shredded beef, two of them. So I think what I'm gonna do is cook it up all together and make myself some little burritos for the night. I think that should be good. Do you want a burrito, dude? You want a burrito? You can't have a burrito. I'll give you some of my burrito, not all of my burrito. <laughs> all right, let's get dinner started. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually use this stick right here and place my tortillas right on top of them over the fire to kind of heat them up and make them a little bit softer so I can mold them into burritos. So hopefully I could do that without burning my, um, my tortillas because that would suck. Most important meal of the day. Uh, Does that not look appetizing? A duck foot. You want this? Down. Yes. Good boy. Up. Yes. Ah. ah, ah. Focus. Hey. Yes, ah, focus, hey, yes, okay, all right, moment of truth, let's see how this all turned out. The rice is good. The tortillas kind of got uh, smoked, 
more than uh, cooked, but they're still pliable, so that's good. High living out here in the forest today. Man, I wish I had some like cheese out here with me. That would be the move right now. Oh man. I didn't realize that uh, when I opened up this beef that it was gonna have liquid in it. So uh, I got beef liquid on my legs. So if I wasn't gonna already get attacked by a bear tonight, I definitely am now, so should be fun. Damn, that's good. That beef is good. Damn. Mm. Mm. I've been thinking about this all day. This is good. gonna be an early night tonight I am absolutely exhausted that hike was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be I think I found some bear poop probably about a hundred feet away from my campsite and maybe some bear tracks so I know I was joking before but the threat is real now so it is what it is um, I'll catch you guys in the morning later That was a cold night. <laughs> we were a little underprepared on the sleeping gear for sure, but it's okay. Um, pretty quiet overall. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit, pack all our stuff up and start heading down the trail. Now I'm really hoping we find some wild berries. Maybe we'll see some deer or elk. That would be really cool. So it's gonna be a good morning for sure. I have never been this far down this trail before, but it's definitely worth it. That last one was like a full-blown waterfall. So cool. You could also see there's all kinds of camping spots on the other side of the creek here. 
and they're nice and green right up against the water. It is really hard to believe that this is Arizona. I mean, everywhere you turn, waterfalls, pine cones, pine trees, patches of grass. I mean, if you were in Phoenix and then you came up here, you'd think that you went to a different state. That's how different it is. Truly spectacular out here. Oh, all right, it's been 24 hours. We're back at the parking lot. Uh, we did about 13 miles, 2,800 feet elevation gain. Um, I'm trying to get ready for the Grand Canyon, actually. I'm gonna go do rim to rim. So if you guys have any advice for that, drop it down in the comments below because I probably need all the help I could get. But for now, we're gonna hop in this cold plunge and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.